Hello friends, welcome back. In this lecture, I am going to tell you about how you should prepare if you are thinking about appearing in a ROR job or client interview. Here I will discuss this lecture from the perspective of all levels of candidates. I mean how to prepare if you are a fresher candidate, how to prepare if you are an intermediate developer or how to prepare if you are highly experienced as developer. So let's discuss first if you are a fresher candidate. Okay, so when you appear in an ROR interview as a fresher, then you must have knowledge of some basics of any kind of programming languages. Okay, here no matter if you know about the Ruby or some OOPS concept and all that, but you must have some basic construct of the programming languages like variables, conditional statements like if else, switch case statements, control flow like loops, while loops, do while loops and some other data structures like arrays and methods or you can also uh, call them as functions okay and you must have idea about the operators as well because these are the concepts that are applied in any programming languages no matter where whether it is object oriented or procedure oriented programming languages you must know these concepts for example if you are working in java then to perform calculation you need some input variables and to produce the output or to store that output you need some output variables and you need operators to perform that calculation okay or you need if else conditions or switch case conditions to validate the input or validate some conditions okay and you might need to write some functions okay to call that uh, as a routine or to perform some specific tasks okay or you might need some data structures to store the values or for the multiple values okay so this is the true for java this is the true for c this is the true for ruby this is the true for python and this is the true for any kind of programming language okay and after these concepts the next thing a fresher candidate should know is the basics of object oriented programming languages like inheritance abstraction objects and classes just because ruby is a pure object oriented programming language and you have to deal with these concepts in both ruby and rails but these oops concepts are optional if you do not know about it then and you have only idea about the basic construct of any programming languages then it is fine to start with ruby okay because you can learn everything with the time okay and now if you it is also better if you have some idea about rails and mvc architecture and some basics of databases like what are tables and how the relationship exists in the real world entities like one to many one to one and many to many okay so this is also good to have if you have the knowledge of rails and mvc architecture and some database queries like let's say select queries from class where class okay and order queries and all that because it will take less time for you to adapt the ruby on rails framework and last but not the least you must have some basics of web apps like uh, what are websites what are types of websites like static websites, dynamic websites and how to design web pages like using HTML, CSS and some basics of JavaScript and that's it. Okay. If you have practiced these things enough, then you will be able to make a good impression in your Ruby or ROR Rails and ROR interview. Okay. And this can be converted in a job offer as well. Who knows? Okay. Also. All these things I mentioned and explained here will take only a couple of months and around five to six dedicated hours every day to prepare. And once you're able to do that, then you are welcome to the Ruby world. Okay. So don't think that like you need a computer science degree or you need a very strong foundation for it. If you can dedicate it your five to six hours every day for two, three months, then you will be good to learn all these things. And then you can apply all these concepts in your Ruby programming okay and then you will be able to get the job as a ruby developer or ROR developer if you are a fresher okay now let's discuss about how to prepare of interview if you are an intermediate candidate or an intermediate experienced developer as an intermediate developers it is there are some things which are expected from you because uh, an intermediate candidate is considered like he or she must have some knowledge about all the concepts I mentioned above before the uh, for the fresher candidates and other than these 
they must know few things in the rails like uh, you can see on the screens like basics of active record models basic uh, basics of active record queries controllers and helper basics validation and callbacks basics views and partials routing basics okay and there are some other things as well like send how to send email from rails application to users and some knowledge of ruby gems because if you work on a rails application then you must have idea about the ruby gems because you add multiple gems in your application to implement some features or there are some default ruby gems as well which are come so into your file or into your project when you generate a new rails application then you must have some basics of uh, basic idea about the active record association because if you work on an application there if there are multiple models then there is high possibility for you to have some models which has some association between them okay and then a good understanding of mvc architecture and the ruby data structures like uh, arrays hashes and then ruby loops iterators and basic ruby constructs like ruby classes modules methods class methods and instance methods okay and all these things are i am mentioning for the intermediate developers are from the perspective of a developer who is more strong at the back end okay if you are very strong at back end or if you are interested to work with the back end server side logic then these things you must know okay and if you are a full stack rails developer then you must have idea of these things as well like you can see on my screen bootstrap html javascript jquery ajax and json okay because if you are a full stack developer then you must have to deal with some ui components using bootstrap or some other ui frameworks like tailwind css and there are uh, foundation css there are many more or sometimes you have to deal with custom css as well okay and then you must have idea how to write html tags and how to reflect the rails data or ruby data into html templates or in erb templates okay erb is a default template engine supported by rails and then you have to deal with jquery and javascript as well because there is no application that can exist with uh, without javascript or jquery if it is in rails or if it is a dynamic application okay and sometimes you also have to send ajax request from the browser to your server so you have some idea about that as well okay and these are the things that you must know as a intermediate developer because if you are saying that you are an intermediate rails developer then you will be considered around 2 years of experience developer and all these things and concepts i mentioned here for an intermediate developer will be expected from you to be answered other than these things you might be asked about uh, the projects you worked upon so far in your career and also about any of the complex problem that you have solved and how you solved this in your development career okay the main reason behind asking such questions is that uh, the recruiter wants to know about how much knowledge you have about the work you do and what is your approach towards solving a problem okay and this is also possible that an interviewer gives you a problem and solve and asks you to solve this on paper or write algorithm for this and if you have practiced enough and work at your best then you will be have, then you will be good to answer or face all such questions successfully okay so as an intermediate developer you must have all these skills and use cases and you must have practice on all these things okay now let's discuss what and how to prepare if you are a highly experienced developer or you are master in rails okay the so first of all let's try to understand that to which developers we called as experienced developer or the master in rails so the candidates with 5 to 8 or more years of experience are considered as the highly experienced developer their interviews and questions to be asked depends upon the role of they are applying for because developers with such high experience can be hired for different roles like managing teams leading the projects only leading the projects with their own development task okay i mean sometimes you just have to lead the team where other subordinate your subordinates and your junior developers are doing work and you just managing the load between all the developers and sometimes you have to lead the team along with doing your development task okay and sometimes handling client calls only and sometimes dealing with client for requirement gathering and then dividing the requirement gathered into task for their team members okay and some highly experienced developers can only are only hired 
for code reviews, pull requests, managing pipelines and handling server side deployments. For example, if you have 10 to 12 years of experience in uh, as a developer in any organization, then you might be asked to handle only code reviews, PR reviews, managing pipelines and deploying code to the server or cloud. Okay. And sometimes they are also considered for development only, which is not bad at all, because sometimes, for example, some organization might ask you to develop things only like just to develop Ruby code, no matter how much experience you have. So this is also good because the, as a developer, it is our work to write uh, scalable solution and efficient solution. So that's good at all. So for the experienced developers, their role can be vary according to the positions and organizations and client. Okay. So whatever their responsibilities could be after they got hired, there must have some idea about the concepts like uh, you can see on my screen the any experienced developer must have no deep knowledge of uh, active record models and then deep knowledge of active record queries controllers and helpers and uh, validations and callbacks writing custom validators views and partials routing basics like uh, scoped routing namespace routing member routing collection routings okay and there are many more things like sending emails from rails application without which various third party integrations okay and ruby gems and skill to customize them as per the requirement for example i'm just uh, explaining a use case where i had to do that thing because i was using device gem and we all know that device gem is used for the authentication purpose i had to customize the registration controller for the device okay so you might be you might face some situation there you have to customize some other gems like you might need to customize the pagination gem like Kaminari and will paginate as per your needs and you might have to deal with Ken Ken gem or Pandit gem to customize them according to your requirements so you must have that idea that how to customize a gem according to our needs okay then you must have deep knowledge of active record associations because I see a lot of developers have only knowledge about the has many and belongs to and they got confused during the interview between has many throw and has and belongs to many association and a lot of developers do not have proper idea about the polymorphic associations and the use cases where to use the polymorphic associations okay so as a highly experienced developer you must have idea about all these things and then you must have better idea of MEC architecture because this is conceived, uh, this is expected from all the developers who no matter whether you are experienced or intermediate or a fresher you must have some idea about the MVC architecture because your rails lies on the MVC architecture it is based upon that architecture okay and MVC architecture is nothing but just a software pattern okay on which rails application relies and then deep knowledge of data structures like uh, arrays and hashes because uh, sometimes you have to deal with uh, json objects and then you need to convert those json objects into ruby hashes and all that and in that case you must have idea like sometimes you might need to uh, send some json data which is giving error because sometimes json data is not able to parse and uh, in that case what you will do so you can use evil method to evaluate the json string into a ruby hash okay so this is just a use case but you must have idea about another use cases as well and then ruby loops and iterator, iterators and then deep knowledge of ruby classes modules mixings methods class methods instance methods okay like how to define class methods and instance methods separately inside a ruby module okay how what how to include and prepend eh, sorry how to, to include extend and prepare a module inside a ruby class so you must have idea about that okay and other than these things there are some other points as well that you must know like you must have deep knowledge of rest apis by rest apis i mean that you must have idea about how to write api only applications and how to write apis in a full stack application okay and what you will use to render this response like you will use jbuilder or active model serializer or you will use json fast json apis and all that and then you must have idea about the background job processing using sidekicks active jobs okay and if you are experienced with sidekick then you must have idea about like what is the difference between basic sidekick and the enterprise sidekick okay because 
lot of clients ask about this question okay because sometimes the application might be bigger because for example if you are applying as a highly experienced developer then there is no chance that you will work on an application which is a very small scale application you have to work on a large scale application and in large scale applications you have to deal with mostly with the enterprise solution of sidekick okay and then you must have great knowledge about basic eh, sorry great knowledge about background job processing okay now then if you are highly experienced then you must have real time data and web sockets okay now how to deal with action cable how to implement chat features and how to implement real time updates of notifications to the admin and user side anything and then it is not necessary because sometimes it might be possible that you did not get chance to work with aws services but it is very rare that you have experience of 6 to 8 x Eight, six to eight years and you did not get chance to work with AWS services okay so you, if you get chance then you must have deep knowledge of all the AWS services and services could be like EC2 with Capistrano or S3 services simple storage service and SES simple email service okay so you must have all these things and other third party APIs as well like Stripe integration, PayPal integration, Twilio integration for chats and Razor Pay and another payment integrations into your application and then you must have idea about the web integration as well okay these are the things that you must be sounded and then this the last thing you can see on my screen that is the query optimization that must be applied on all the experienced developers because uh, sometimes suppose your juniors have right uh, the query which is resulting the data which is fetching the data correctly from the database but you have to optimize the time because uh, for example just take a simple example that there is an n plus one problem in your code okay and the junior developers are not aware about that then how you will do, do that because you must have that knowledge to optimize that query to response in as minimum as time possible Okay, and uh, other than these things, you have some knowledge about how to write dry codes, how to avoid repetition in your code. Okay, and what are the coding standards that you or somebody must follow while writing any feature or while developing any feature? Because writing code is a part that uh, most of the developers ignore while writing that, and that will cost uh, to the organization and that will lead uh, to the development cost okay why because suppose if your code is not dry it is you have multiple appearance of a single code at multiple places then what you will do if you find a bug in that code you have to go to multiple places and correct that okay and that will lead the development cost okay and then you must have the skills to implement the inbuilt ruby method okay for example uh, I take an interview for two candidates for a company okay and for and one for a client and I ask them like uh, what array methods they know so they answer me like com compact method sort method reverse methods okay so and then I asked one candidate that how you will write the compact method suppose if there is not compact method supported uh, provided by Ruby for arrays then two developers make that uh, then two developers were able to implement that method and one is failed in that okay and he has five to eight years of experience so in that case it does not make a good impression on the interview you must have idea about how to implement the inbuilt ruby method okay because suppose what you will do if there is no such method support provided by the ruby then you must have such a algorithmic knowledge and some computational knowledge so that you can write that solution from scratch at your own okay and there are many more things that could be expected from you okay and other than these technical questions you might be asked that how many applications you have worked on and what are the domains of those applications and this is very important okay because this will show you that what knowledge you have about a specific app domain for example if you are giving interview and the organization or the client belongs to some e-commerce domain and if you do have worked on any e-commerce application or e-commerce rest api then there are better chances for you to make good impression and same is true for other domains like social media applications admin backend applications and 
many other domains because in that case they have to explain you very minimal things because you are already aware about their domain okay and then you can easily and quickly adapt the requirements that you want to do for them okay and then you might be asked about uh, your algorithmic approach and steps you take to solve complex problems as well because interviews might ask any of the complex problem you have solved and what challenges you face while solving this and the steps taken to solve this okay you should not be surprised if you were asked some questions like do you have any experience in handling team and if yes how better you are handling team okay have you worked with remote teams in different time zones okay do you have any devops experience okay so if you have honest answer for this you can provide as you can say simply say no okay and many other questions that i <laughs> i really don't know that what they can ask okay so if your answer answers justifies your experience then the job is yours okay now at the end i would like to say that instead of showing your experience in your resume try to make impression with your portfolio okay the portfolio can be anything like a git repository where you can create some sample applications algorithms and apis or this can be a personal blogging sites that lists your skill through articles or your youtube videos as well where you can showcase your work and skills this makes much better experience than a fancy resume okay also whatever i discussed here is just related to the technical round of interview okay you have to deal at your own if this is hr or managerial round i am not expert about that and not experienced too much about that okay and the last thing is that i just shared what i think about take interviews okay and you might have some different thoughts and if yes please share with me through comments i would like to know that okay so that's all for now we will meet soon with some other tech topic okay till then thanks for watching this and let's meet into next lecture and tata goodbye take care stay safe